you so nice. Go on, you'll be a pop star if you just stand still. I know that, because even if you're just doing a jazzy song, you're always walking up and down in front of your band, aren't you? Yeah. Like that old devil call again. <laughs> piano player, I'm going to talk Ooh, to you, piano yeah. player. <laughs> 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 and rocks in my pants. <laughs> Jazzy number, do I? I want to be soothed. I want a relaxing, soothing number to be soothed Well, with. what's your favourite song, then? Oh, God. What's the cartoon called with the snowman in it? What's that called? The... The something. The... <laughs> the Christmas. No. no. The... Well, the song from that, whatever that oh, is. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> what shall I sing white Christmas? Oh, shut up now. I see you managed to get your leg bones back then. <laughs> decade, few artists have had such a monumental influence on the world of modern art as Muriel and Maddy. <laughs> Only Times said of them, their obscure genius, their sense of form and symmetry is unsurpassed. Others have called their work mindless, pornographic, pretentious and total crap. We have made this film so that you can judge for yourselves. They have never given an interview before. How would you describe your work? Well, it's like an idea you get, and I think, um, what is it, when is it, who is it? And as long as it's decadent and it's symmetrical, then I call it art. You don't eat meat! <laughs> Let's examine a recent work, then. Yeah, this is uh, called Maddy and Concrete. Now, how was that created? Well, you just get a lot of wet concrete, and then you get Maddy to jump off a tall building into the concrete, and that is the impression. Oh! Oh! It's quite effective, you know, I like the deal. Red boy! Get back on that pedestal now! Go on, seat! Now we decide, you pretentious cow! Maddie's standing! Go on! Get on there! Colossal, but I wouldn't do it now. Now I'm into obscure. Um, Speak up! Uh, it represents um, a lot. Mortally, Vicar! I'm tied, you know, the metamorphic menstrual cycles, and it's called dog breasts, this one. It's a good experiment, you know, making the cast and everything. Oh! Woof, woof, woof! She gets really upset about it because it was her dog, you see. <laughs> they couldn't get the cast off, so the dog's still inside this one. <laughs> I like Maddie, she's very honest, she's got no pretensions, she's very stupid. Ow! 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 Where did you meet? At Slade. The art college. No, the concert. <laughs> Go Now, you don't often let people watch you at work. 
No, I don't enjoy, um, you know, like prostituting the creative process. I think it's very private. Now, what exactly are you doing here? Well, I'm going to be drawing um, a woman with outstretched arms. Right, so I'm just going to start with a circle. That's like your head. And then just cross. So I always don't know where to put the eyes. Put eye, eye. And then just, you know. <laughs> well, she's not going to have outstretched arms. She's going to have her arms behind her back. Why have you changed your mind about the arms? Well, it's because um, I prefer symmetricality, Joan. She but... can't draw fingers! <laughs> Everybody's going for those kinky boots, kinky boots. Kinky boots, it's a manly kind of fashion that you borrowed from the roots. Borrowed from the boots. Kinky boots. There are 20 million women wearing kinky boots. Kinky boots. Puss in boots. Footwear manufacturers are gathering the fruits. Gathering the fruits. Kinky boots. Everybody's rushing for those Russian boots. Russian boots. Kinky boots. Cover, Cover up the send a little tender food. With kinky, slinky, leather is so kinky. Come and get those kinky boots.